Hello to you, the season few. You know what we came here to do, and if you don't, let me tell you, man, RPG-style character progression, fantasy sports-style betting, and the most electrifying four corners known to mankind. Pro Wrestling. You know what's going down? Artificial intelligence generated characters from your comments. The drama's going down a new arena. Looking spicy. You know how it goes, and if you don't, you heard it RPG style. Character progression, you gotta get in the comment section and play the role if you wanna play the game. Fantasy sports style betting, that means you can bet on any match. Put your points up. Most electrifying four corners, clearly, solo season universe, and tonight, we're starting you off with a little bit of drama. They want the rematch, they're gonna get the rematch. J-Wall, Weapon X versus Jay Savage. Max Maximus, the tag team champions. If you didn't see Fastlane, the pay-per-view, you are absolutely missing out. Insane. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Go and check it out right now. Coming down to the ring. You know him. I know him. Tag Team Champions, Max Maximus, the ladies' man, Jay Savage, it's happening again, accompanied by Mom Dukes. Who can be mad at the Tag Team Champions after their display with the third wheel, Lord British, taking advantage of Jim the Gent, a man who had taken the Interplanet Chariot Champion, Johnny Blue, he took, I mean, he took him head on. Ended up losing and still had to fight. Unfortunately, Jibba the Jet has not been in the comment section. Can we get Jibba in the comments for more points? David Fair, will he be able to coerce his partner uh, to come into this ring? But coming to the ring right now. Coming to the ring. Jay Wall. Jay Wizzle. Wall to wall, J Wall, burning it down in the comment section is always much appreciated to you, Jay Wizzle. He's got that new outfit, that new Rastafari outfit. You gotta love it, bro. You got to love it. Shout out my main man, J Wall, bro. Coming to the ring with his original, you see his fan signs out there, bro. Those those burn it down hand signs. Uh, those uh. Those are, those are really proof of what really goes on here. And the proof is, the, uh, the proof is that the fans of Rich History, best date ever. Those are Max Maximus and Jay Savage fans. Ladies love Jay Savage. But more than anything, Mom Dukes, look at all four of them lining up right there, waiting for the, ah, I mean, show of respect. For this man right here, Weapon X, and look who is accompanying and him. Partner, it looks like Alexa Bliss, Alexa Bliss is uh, kind Jackson, of the leader of this group a little bit Wait, here. She's done so much work, not only for J Wall, but it looks like she's going to be coming in tonight to support the entire Red Lion planet, the entire bloodline, the entire Blood Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, She's serious. Look at Alexa Bliss go. I don't think, I don't know, bro. I don't think this is going to end well for anybody tonight. We know what happens when Alexa Bliss gets involved. Vintage, vintage Jay Savage sign right there. You see a lot of Jay Savage fans, a lot of Max Maximus fans out there. What's going to happen here? Alexa Bliss almost kind of refusing to get out of the ring here. And look at Jay Savage. He's all oh, in Jay Wall and his lady. Oh, no. Alexa Bliss helping and the referee telling her to get out. And she does as the bell rings. And Jay Savage looking for a, looking for an eye wreck. Downward knife edge chop. And that's crazy. Jay Wall starting off early with the reverse high crotch. This is getting ugly. 
Or is it getting good? I mean, I guess it depends on which side of the ropes you're on, whether you're a fan or if you're Jay Savage. Ladies and gentlemen, Irish whip against the ropes. Rebound into a power slam, and Jay Wall wipes his hands in this match. He says he's done with it already, but Jay Savage has more in the tank, and he has more up his sleeve. Jay Wall reaching for those ropes, and it looks like he can't get to him, so he has to kick out. Jay Savage stomping the face. Max Maximus clapping his hands in approval. Will Alexa Bliss get involved? She almost undoubtedly will. Right now, though, those, ha, those right hands from Jay <coughs> Those right hands from Jay Savage telling the crowd exactly what they want. And that's the story of the match. Oh, and Jay Wall with a beautiful back roll. But it looks like the momentum can't carry over. The weight of Jay Savage puts Jay Wall down. Single leg takedown. Starts working that leg. Jay Savage is known for his... Oh, and there it is. Alexa Bliss getting involved. The third... And another reverse high crotch from Jay Wall. That's how you get a good setup right there. You gotta have a lady. You gotta have a manager. Are you the season few ready to do battle? I don't think you are if you're not in the comment section. And tonight, it looks like Jay Savage, Max Maxim is going up against Jay Wall in Weapon X. Will Weapon X be able to get Jibba the Jet to hit the comment section, get his character some points? Or was it? Or was it just the odds are stacked against them? Too many boosts for the White Mermaid Planet. That's right, the interplanetary title giving the champions a boost. Anybody from the White Mermaid right now gets a boost. And unfortunately for Weapon X and Jay Wall, Max and Jay Savage are from the White Mermaid planet. So they're getting a huge boost right now. Kaiva Haas, our new Ladies Triple Crown champion. Max finally getting his chance to go after Weapon X. We haven't really seen these two fight before. And now Max has been waiting for this moment for quite some time. Now the disrespect. And look at Jay Savage. Jay Savage literally jumping off of the apron saying he can handle it all by himself. Max Maximus has been on quite the tear lately. Look at my main man Jay Savage showing the crowd that he has all the faith in Max Maximus. Even though Lord British may have doubted him throughout the match. It was a beautiful setup. Lord British able to finish out that match with a beautiful Emerald Flosion. Subsequently showing Jay Wall how to do that flying headbutt with the SSU title intact. 100% boost to uh, aerial attacks. My man Jibba just couldn't survive even with the previous SSU champion Weapon X. The man in the ring right now giving Max Maximus the ladies man a run for his money. See here, this is the issue. He doesn't have the belt anymore. His words are not God mode. So Weapon X unable to bring his friend into the fray and uh, keep him from keep him from the harm, the dangers of the talent pool. I mean, you really got to be active in those comment sections. Right now, Max, here he is. Oh, and he's faking it maybe? Oh, he is playing a little bit of possum. Playing some possum. Max Maximus taking a page out of Jay Savage's book. A little bit of trickery goes a long way. And Jesus, you got to think. You got to think. Oh, this is the end of it. Max, somersault suplex. That's a beautiful situation. That's why the ladies love Max Maximus. Will... Alexa Bliss get involved again. We already saw her draw the attention of the men in the ring. Now the storyline brewing between these two, the bloodline and the tag teams. Oh, Maximum Flatliner gets reversed. That's the first time in a long time we've seen that. And the champion, Max better figure it out. Or he's gonna, yep, he's going for a ride. He's going for a ride, one. And he won't let go. Body locked. Oh, oh no. Two. Weapon X going for the Trey suplex. And Max folded like a lawn chair. Jay Savage knowing he needs to get the crowd involved. Weapon X dragging his opponent to the corner. Will it be far enough? Will Weapon X be able to pin center of the universe? One. Two. 
and a kick up. Jay Savage having all the faith in his partner, not even running in to break up that count. He has faith in his partner. But right now, this is getting ugly. We've seen their tag team maneuvers get very high tech. And here we go. Oh, no. A Tommy drop into the big boot. It's a hard combination to follow. Look at my man Max, though, trying to survive. But no one can survive the onslaught of the Red Lion playing its very own. J-Wall, Weapon X. Nice neck breaker. Stopping all the momentum of the ladies, man. And right now, let me tell you something. The champions are in a bad way. When you want to talk about it, best of the best, they are them. And now J-Wall using some moves that Max used on Weapon X. His trademark is to kind of steal people's moves. I mean, maybe not even steal, use and adapt his own style to his enemy. So right now, we see what's happening. Rastafari, J-Wall, j Burning down wall to wall, trying to go for an aerial. Oh no, and somehow he he recovers. Max recovers. After that flying forearm, somehow. Oh my god, here we go again. There's never been an episode with Max where we don't get to see the prestigious triple power bomb. <laughs> And Jay Wall is out. There's no saving him. And Alexa Bliss arguing with the referee, arguing with the referee that this isn't fair. And it looks like it is. Weapon X makes the save. These two guys are on fire. Max telling the crowd to give him all the attention. He's gonna go in for the finish right now. Stomp in the chest of J-Wall. Alexa Bliss trying to find some way to help. Unfortunately, it looks like she was more of a problem than she was an actual aid. Irish Whip sends J-Wall flying to the huge lunar surface on the outside there. So what you want to see is that the outside of this ring is made from the actual piece of this planet, the white mermaid planet. Very special, carved right out of a piece of this planet. The ring, of course, built prestigiously with all the high-tech electronics and the best of the best pieces you can find. White Mermaid Planet, all about the specials, all about the finishers. We can get them fast, but we can lose them just as fast. And my man Max better be careful. Oh my God. All oh, the ladies love Max. All oh, the ladies love Max, but the Max Maximus is not flustered by Alexa Bliss in all of her glory. The ladies man has seen plenty of ladies. And oh my God, he's going to hold him down. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, he holds him down. He holds him down. Ladies and gentlemen, my main man, Weapon X, decides that if we're not going to win, we're not going to lose either. And somehow gets a hold of Max. Somehow gets a hold of him and gets a W. There's nothing better. I mean, is it? I mean, is it a W? I'm gonna call it a win. It look, it shows the cohesiveness of the Red Lion Planet. Alexa Bliss getting involved, saving J Wall, and then of course my main man, the ladies man, is not affected by any lady. Alexa Bliss giving him a little bit of taste of what she's got, and Max does his ultimate finisher and disses Alexa Bliss. Let's go. Nothing can affect the ladies man. Except for maybe my man Weapon X, who held him there until the referee got to 10. What else are you going to do, you know? Was it a good move from the leader of the Red Lion Planet? And my main man right now, though. I think the main reason why Max and Jay Savage are so undefeatable is that boost they get from that belt right there. The House of Blues, baby. Johnny Blue and Sugar. Interplanetary champion. You gotta love it. The man has too much style. The man has too much sauce. 
And of course, after taking out Jibba the Gent, making an open challenge to anyone, absolutely anyone who's ready to uh, do battle with the interplanetary champion, he says, bring it on. And tonight, who will come from the back? Uh, I believe Moondog Rex has signed up to be his first open challenge challenger, if you will. Let's see what he's got for the champion tonight. Moondog Rex, of course, an old school fighter. One of those guys who really scrap it out. One of those guys who you're not going to see too many uh, high flying maneuvers, but he gets the job done. And there it is. That symbolic hammer. That symbolic hammer. Nobody can really say that Moondog Rex doesn't deserve this shot at the champion. We've seen old school wrestlers are kind of his weakness. My main man Johnny Blue lost to Jimmy the Jet in his very redneck, roughneck style. And tonight, someone from his very own planet. That's right. Moondog Rex is. Moondog Rex is from the White Mermaid planet. And that's the best part about it. You never know if your own teammates are going to come after you right now. Moondog Rex with that huge boost thanks to the interplanetary belt that JB Johnny Blue wears. He's getting that boost. So tonight he's using that boost against the champion. What a turn of events. Johnny Blue and Sugar right now clapping for him. Honestly, giving a little bit of credit. You know, I mean, we're not going to hate. You know, we're not going to hate. It looks like we're going to participate. And right now, I hope you're participating. Got to get yourself in the comment section. Five points. Bet who you got. And, of course, hit that like button. That's the only way we can really stay here on YouTube. We got to make sure we beat the algorithm. And, again, classic start. Classic start. You hear me from my man Moondog Wrench. Wrench in the headlock. Able to throw him off is Johnny Blue. Classy. Not classic, but classy arm drag. I mean, that thing had a lot of style on it. Hard Irish whip to the corner. Turnbuckle does a bit of damage to the back end. Look at the big boy's bumping chest. Oh, Johnny Blue brings the big man down with a shot to the body. Shot to the body brings Moondog down to one knee. Johnny Blue and his amazing boxing that has acquired uh, over the past few matches. We've seen him evolve as a wrestler. Those body shots being one of his best moves. And look at that. Look at that. Rope break. Rope break. It looks like Moondog Rex was able to grab those ropes with his foot. Referee. Japanese referee. Very astute. Very accurate with his calls tonight. You cannot beat this man when it comes to the one, two, threes. Tonight, we've seen him count fairly to 10 with the tag team champions. No hesitation to count them out into a draw. If you're going to win with the Japanese referee, you're going to have to win clean. And tonight, Moondog Rex is all about playing dirty. But will he be able to do look at the boxing that puts my man JB all the way against the ropes? and uses that to wrench on the leg. It looks like Moondog Rex is dragging his opponent to the center of the universe. I don't think he's gonna win with that. No, Moondog Rex attacking the leg, trying to maybe play some mind games here, giving Johnny Blue a chance to give up if he wants. Johnny Blue, of course, the interplanetary champion, not even close to giving up, but what are you gonna do when that boost is coming for you, Interplanetary Champion, feeling the pain of his own boost right now. Moondog Rex, going for some pretty, uh, I've never really seen him, I mean, that's, that's about as technical as it gets for Moondog Rex, a tree of woe, foot to the throat. 
and he's going for another pin. I think this might be a good chance for him to go. Blood rushing to the head. Doesn't matter. JB, Johnny Blue, ready to keep going. And there it is. Seriously. Seriously. And you see it, Sugar, on the outside. Giving him a little bit of support there. Telling him to bend his elbow in. That's the reversal. Oh, and that's a spear. Moondog Rex ran right into that spear full speed, ladies and gentlemen. Moondog Rex is done. And the referee somehow claps the mat for two. I, I'm, I'm about ready to play some victory music for my man. And, and he's still ready. Moondog Rex clearly getting that boost. The champion, the champion. The champion, oh my god, the pin, and there it is, the special pin, the special pin. Oh, it's almost like a joke now. If he does that pin, we all know people are going to kick out. It's so messed up. The House of Blues powerbomb, he used to be undefeated. Anybody that got hit with that would never kick out. No one kicked out with that special pin. And now every single time he does the special pin, someone kicks out of it. Right now though, he's locking in an Indian death lock. Classic Indian death lock. I mean, I've seen Triple H maybe throw this thing once in his career. High level submission skills from my man JB. High level boxing from the champion JB. Johnny Blue. But right now, the rope rebound, using the turnbuckle to rebound the champion into a suplex. Putting a little sauce on that stomp. Put a little sauce on that stomp. Is the champion weary from fast lane? I mean, this was his idea, the open challenge. Moondog Rex slapping the chest. I mean, this is getting physical. This is the dog fight that he wants. Knee drop, and that's really all he's got picking up that big man. He's tired. He's tired trying to slow down the match a little bit. Moondog Rex. I mean, that was a highlight again, ladies and gentlemen. A highlight from the YouTube. Make sure you check out the hundreds of episodes, the hundreds of shorts that tell an in-depth story of how you, the season few, are doing and how the interaction has evolved not only into characters, but into actual events within the game. Ebola Zaire Gaming. Ebola Zaire Gaming absolutely in the mix. Thanks to him, we've got an entire trio. Plague, Brandon Farrell, and of course my main man, Ebola. But you gotta comment 10 right now, comment 10. That's how you get a free 10 points. Thanks to my man Moondog Rex, allowing competitors to get a free 10 points by get, completing that full-on head 10 turnbuckle. Now, of course, however many they get, say he only gets four, then, you know, comment four. If he comments, if he gets 10 headbutt turnbuckle, he gets seven. He gets seven, he gets seven. You, you understand what's going on here. You understand. Lucky for you, lucky for me, comment 10. That's how you get the free 10 points. But Johnny Blue right now, short clotheslines, really short clotheslines. Oh, no. Moondog Rex goes for his own counter clothesline and gets, uh, gets pretty much torn in half by a speed. Referee slaps the mat for one, two, clean two count. There wasn't even a thought. That referee had his hand as high as it could go before Moondog Rex kicked out. He's got a lot more to go. Let's see what Johnny Blue can pull out of his bag or will it be Moondog Rex and his classic wrestling style that pulls out a victory from behind. But right now, he better get out of the way of this. Another power bomb. It is. He can't get out of it. Is he going to go for the special pin? Oh, why would he do the special pin? We all know he's going to kick out. No. <laughs> I can't believe it. Moondog Rex keeping that kind of... Uh, I don't even know what you would want. It's like a ritual, if you will. Moondog Rex able to kick out of that pin. But he won't be able to get out of this. That's an easy one, two, three referee right there. There's no way... <laughs> Moondog Rex somehow able to kick out of what is the most technical style pin. I mean, you see the guy 
pulling out all the stops tonight. Johnny Blue. Over the top suplex. And he's exhausted. Moondog Rex barely moving. Johnny Blue down on one knee. But he gets the crowd involved. The crowd is on their feet. There is not a single person in the crowd right now that is on their feet. Moondog, or that is in their seat. They are on their feet. Moondog Rex trying to get the champion to slow down. But there's nothing that slows the champion down. Japanese referee almost got speared. And look at Johnny Blue. He knows that Moondog Rex needs more damage before he's done. And a left hook dazes him. And a cross leg suplex. Puts Moondog Rex down. Moondog Rex is down. Moondog Rex is down. And another power bomb. This guy from the... Oh, is he going to do the... No! No, the third time's a charm. And he decides not to do the pin. He decides not to do the damn pin. And it looks like it's the truth. Yes! <laughs> It's insane to think that Johnny Blue in that House of Blues powerbomb, it took three, or was it the pin? What is what is going on here? Is it because he doesn't fully pin the arm down? Does he have to get a proper pin in there now? I mean, people are starting to learn and figure out little ways to combat their talents, their enemy talents, their rivals, if you will. Johnny Blue learning how to kick out of that uh, crossface uh, torture rack from Jim of the Gent. And there it is, the interplanetary champion, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! No way! The Spanish god is here! What is he doing? Oh, he's got the interplanetary belt in his hand. Oh, the span, and he throws the belt down. Spanish God, Miguel Morales, has made his challenge to the interplanetary champion. Oh, my God. What's going to happen next? Feral, Wild Kyle, revenge match. With our competitors already in the ring, the crowd in this white mermaid arena ready to go brandon farrell wild kyle let's go the bell rings and of course this man the one who cost his team the match wild kyle bringing in those brass knuckles and using those brass knuckles against dead on arrival now tonight will brandon farrell be able to get a little bit of payback on Wild Kyle for his treachery against his team. High knee says he will. High knee says he will. Couple of stomps, Wild Kyle able to get out of that. Couple of slaps to the face. High European uppercut him. Oh, the wild man can't take the feral one. He's a beast. He's taunting to the crowd. He's got the people on their feet. Brandon Farrell throwing hands, throwing Clotheslines that keep sending his opponent out the ring, but here he is right here on that lunar surface scratching the back. You can see that it's not a smooth surface. It hurt. Brandon Farrell hurt from that one suplex, and it looks like Wild Kyle goes even more aggressive with it. Oh, he's got nothing but suplexes for this guy. Nothing but suplexes for Brandon Farrell. Wild Kyle doing everything he can to do maximum damage while he's outside here. And there it is. There it is again. Using those steps carved directly. Oh, using them. This is bad. This is bad. As quick as we saw the match going in the direction of Brandon Farrell, Wild Kyle finds his way right into this thing with a few suplexes. Uh, more than a few, I mean, honestly, about eight or nine variations of a suplex. 
And there it is, camera gets a close zoom in and wow, Kyle's quick hands there. Wow, Kyle's quick hand able to catch a right hand in between that hook. And there it is, an uppercut. And there's a shot to the gut, a knee, oh! And Brandon Farrell with one knee sends Wild Kyle flying. Oh, and he tricks him, he tricks him. He thought that he wasn't paying attention and with a mule kick, with one of those back karate mule kicks. And this time, Wild Kyle able to counter with a vicious, a vicious flurry of headbutts. Oh my God. And he decides he's dizzy. He can't fight while he's dizzy. He's running away. Brandon Farrell giving chase. Where is Wild Kyle going? Back to the ring. Back to the ring. Can't finish this match outside. This is this is a no holds bar. No holds bar match tonight. And it looks like the crowd getting a little bit of a show. Brandon Farrell taking a second in the corner to recover. Goes right to work on the upper shoulders with some forearms. Wild Kyle better figure out a way to get out of this. Brandon Farrell, very well known for his unpredictable style. But of course, the wild man, Wild Kyle, throwing a double foot draw kick that puts him on his back. An easy one, two, three, if you ask me. That rhyme, but I'm not a rapper. Kyle just barely short of a three count. Brandon Farrell saying, no way, Jose. Oh, my God. Locks up the leg. No holds bar match. Tries to break the knee. Oh, and the right hand is dodged and countered with a Huracorana. Or was that really a Frankensteiner? More of a Frankensteiner. And Wild wow, Kyle showing the crowd who's really in control here. Clothesline. Really, another stiff clothesline, getting a rebound off of those ropes, looking for a calf kick, and he gets just that. And somehow, the Farrell one, Brandon Farrell, able to count and hits him with a beautiful torture rack GTS. Kick to the lower lumbar, and look at the leg of Wild Kyle almost kind of glitching out there he he's clearly affected by that lower lumbar kick his character is his character doesn't have much leg strength left guaranteed after all the damage done and this is what he used inside of that three on three the 3v3 the electric chair drop face buster center of the universe wow Kyle is not I would take that back before I could even finish my words. Wild Cop kicks out. And what is this one? A lot of highlight maneuvers tonight. Oh, the big boot gets countered. But even with the counter snap, suplex is right behind it. Wild Kyle unable to take on the wild man's speed. Is able to attack on the fly. He just makes it up as he goes. Oh, close line. And now he's getting some love. He's getting some love. Rebound. And instead of going for the calf kick, he finishes with a third close line. Another kick to the lower lumbar. He knows how to injure a character. He's going for the injury. He's going for the injury. Wow, Kyle feeling the pain. And another face buster. Another face buster. What? No, Wild Kyle counters with a Frankensteiner. Beautiful, beautiful Frankensteiner reversal. And here are the tables turning, using the ropes now to create some damage onto the throat. Japanese referee can't do anything about it. Japanese referee cannot do anything about it. No holds barred. And Wild Kyle somehow uses that patented double foot drop kick to put my man Brandon Farrell down after using an illegal maneuver using the ropes illegally on the throat Brandon Farrell can't breathe once again Wild Kyle using an illegal maneuver, but this was a no holds bar match. That double foot drop kick right to the heart, right to the chest. 
able to put down Brandon Farrell. And that's again a body shot from him. He did the wild man was on a run there. Reverse Frankensteiner. We've really got to go and take a peek again. We gotta take a peek. We gotta take a peek at what went on with that attack on the ropes. I mean he used the ropes as a weapon, but that double foot drop kick to the ribs, I mean his finisher. His, his double foot drop kick he does it better than anyone else and unfortunately Brandon Farrell unable to kick out of it a shot to the ribs you never know what move it's gonna be Here is I mean, your winner, as much as Wild it's Man. not a finisher oh and there it is plague 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 in the arena right now plague what is going on here oh what is going on here? The Japanese referee trying to stop this, but Plague unable to even get a move off on Wild Kyle. What is going on here? Oh my God! And Wild Kyle does an oh my God moment. Literally just hits him with a double attitude adjustment. Wild Kyle is a killer. He's a killer. Wild Kyle able to take out two of the DOAs. What? <laughs> that was some of the best wrestling from Kyle we've ever seen. Some of the best wrestling from Wild Kyle we've ever seen. I don't know if he'll be able to keep DOA at bay for long by himself. But we'll see. We'll see. Coming up next. My main man, Humble Among. Fighting with, honestly, someone we wouldn't expect. But it's the truth. They have been. They've been friends for quite some time. They've been friends for quite some time. They've been friends ever since Lord British said, let's do it, bro. You can tell that Lord British is bulked up, you hear me? The Patreon boost has put that man in a position of power. I think honestly, Humble Among with the SSU, Lord British with the UFO, and BA Becca with the Triple Crown Championship was the plan, but it looks like unfortunately Kaiba Haas stole that chance at a trifecta very close to what the Red Lion Planet did for quite some time. But it looks like tonight, if you didn't see the main event, a fast lane. Humble Among able to beat Savage Spike, Weapon B, and Jesus Cage for the solo season Universal title. Again, reclaiming his spot as the number one talent in the universe. And B.A. Becca, back to her usual craziness, bro. You know she wants that belt back. Lord British. And I really think, ladies and gentlemen, that that is Candy Offman, the one who won the belt for... I don't know if it's a humble among, is it Candy Offman? We're having a hard time figuring out with his split personality who's going to be fighting. But right here, right now... Smokey Pistol Pete. At a combined weight of Let's go. The superstar and Pitbull P. The My main man, Pistol Pete, bringing the newcomer, Smokey, down to the ring.
Will the newcomer be able to make a big splash the way he did in his previous match? Southern Smoke, Extreme Southern Smoke Wrestling. Shout out my main man. Pistol P. Smokey. You kind of got to love the combination. Now once again, more British. Known to be a fan of Pistol P. Known to really enjoy a Pistol P match. High level wrestling tonight. And it looks like Smokey the newcomer is going to go up against Lord British. For now, it looks like Lord British will not have to go up against one of his teammates, if you will. Oh, and trying to get the big guy out of there early. Smokey saying, no way, Jose. You're going to have to try harder than that. Lord British just says, uh, okay, mate. I've got you. Oi. <laughs> and a quick shot to the heart and a huge clothesline sends Smokey rolling out of the ring. He better figure it out. Because my man is going flying. Oh, oh my God. Lord British pulling off some high risk maneuvers. Top rope automaton. This is insane right now. Who knew? Who knew Lord British had it in him the whole time? Hard Irish whip into the ring. Unfortunately, Smokey leaves his head exposed. Lord British showing that boost and picks up that 200 something pound man with ease stomp in the back and that looked ugly you can tell from the pain in Smokey's body contortion there he really felt that oh and a slugging left hook that can only be described as George Foreman-esque goes for that same pin maneuver and this time gets the same result Smokey, a tough competitor. My guy, Lord British, is going to have to try harder than that. Locks in that vivid, vivid variation of a sharpshooter there. Breaking the knees, breaking the arms. Oh, there he is, flexing to the crowd, showing off his new boost. Showing off his new boost. Yo, that's my guy, Lord British. Did you see... Oh, that boy flexed the muscles a little bit right there. Showing the pecs. Showing the biceps, triceps. He wanted a boost. He got a boost. And look at that Liverpool style. Using that atomic drop. Continues the momentum into a suplex. Slams the head off the apron. This is getting ugly for Smokey. Lord British clearly in control of this match right now. The referee going to count him out if he's not careful. Looks like he doesn't want to go out the same way as Weapon X. And there's the Pistol Pete tag. We didn't want to see it. And I don't think Lord British wanted to see it. But Pistol Pete unable to... Oh, but the second one does it. Lord British gets up after it. He's, the, he's not okay. Pistol Pete's not going to have any of that gibberish. None of that craziness. He's going right after Lord British. Two clotheslines does the trick. Drop kick to the lower lumbar. And the entire match has changed momentum. Thanks to Pistol Pete. And the tassels. Referee can't even get a one count. Lord British won't let him. Kicking up so early. Pistol Pete knows how much he still has to do. And right now, the clothesline in the corner tells the truth. Oh, oh, he's trying to make that tag to humble among the solo season universal champion. Will it be? Will it be humble among who makes the difference? He's the freshest man in this match. Has not seen the ring yet. But the big knee. Oh, what is this? What is this? Lord British uses Max Maximus. He was hanging out with the boys. Savage Squad, Alpha Males. And right now, Lord British using the ladies' man's triple powerbomb. 
He's using the ladies man's triple power bomb. And oh, but unlike the ladies man, oh, you got a pin referee. You got it. Oh, the referee is very astute. The referee is very astute. Oh, but Lord British may have just gotten kind of uh, sold out himself there a little bit. The triple power bomb getting B.A. Becca kicked out. Now, see, that's the entire difference. Mom Dukes does not get kicked out when Max Maximus does the power bomb. We've seen Max do three or four power bombs. He brings in a different lady to do a power bomb. You know what I mean? So it's crazy every single time. But B.A. Becca gets involved one time. The Japanese referee decides, hey, get her out of there. And unfortunately for Lord British, it cost him, I think, the three count. But right now, Humble Among making up for it. Or is it Candy Offman? Which one is in the ring tonight? Clothesline. Short arm trap clothesline from Pistol Pete. Allows him to get some offense off. The right hand. And there it is. The Gorilla Body Press. Oh, man. The Gorilla Body Press puts Humble Among on his stomach. He's out of, he's out of there. He has nothing left in his lungs. He's got nothing left. Uses the top ropes. Now the referee allowing a lot of these top rope maneuvers tonight. Is this another one? He is. Body lift. Oh, running power slam. He goes for the leg up pin. Humble Among unable to uh, get Pistol Pete off of his offense drives the knuckles into the neck the man is on fire right now more tassels more power and look at all of these lifting maneuvers a beautiful stalling suplex he is on fire right now the solo season universal champion not knowing what to do with Pistol Pete bang 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 and another Irish whip to the corner. This guy refuses to give up on these corner attacks here. And there goes the tag team we've been waiting for. Smokey does a mid-rope double axe handle right to the arm. Oh my God. He refused to let go of that arm and is 360 in the air. Humble gets thrown like a rag doll. Big man splash, big man splash into a snake eyes, big boot. What is going on here? Leg drop to finish it all off, the cherry on top, no doubt about it. Smokey, my man, man, Smokey, extreme southern smoke wrestling. Oh, and that's the way he decides to keep picking them up, grabbing them right on the tracks, the lats, and Humble Among finally getting a reversal off. And there goes his finisher. No, but Smokey able to reverse with a Russian leg sweep. Gets his body over and Russian leg sweep. And this is not what you want. Smokey knows he's in trouble. He stands there. Oh, Smokey jumps up. What? What? A very dominant spear from Lord British and Smokey eats the spear. He looked afraid at first. Lord British jumping in that ring and Smokey almost looked like he didn't want the smoke. Eats a spear from Lord British and really kind of snaps to life. No, we know this is going to be his weakness. Lord British giving a lot of props to Pistol Pete. More tassels, more power, but unfortunately here in the tag team division, we're seeing who can beat the champions. Who's going to derail Max and Jay Savage? Or will it be? My main man, Pistol Pete and Smokey are the ones to do it. And beautiful reversal, atomic drop, bounces Lord British so high, referee looking to count, I would too, but he can't even get to one. I mean, barely slaps the mat, I think he's just really an efficient referee, anybody else wouldn't have been able to even get to the mat in time. Judo arm drag from Lord British, Liverpool style mixed up with some of that MMA 
miss for my man Pistol Pete. He has nothing to offer. Oh, he has nothing to offer these guys. Humble Among able to throw a quick shot. Bouncing my man Pistol Pete out of that corner. Allowing Lord British to throw a clothesline. I mean, these guys are good. But somehow, Pistol Pete able to get out of it. No, there's the Gorilla Body Press. He's got to get out of that. Oh, man. And he bounces. He bounces off of the canvas. There's no way Lord British gives up. No way. But that's a two count. It shows you how strong the Gorilla Body Press really is. Landing full force. All the gravity right onto the mat. Lord British says, get out of here, mate. Throws an Irish whip, and he gets him into the corner. What is he doing? What is he doing? Lord British, some reason who, what is he doing? What does he see in the ring? What is going on here? Oh, what a distraction. What just happened? What just happened? What was Lord British doing? What just happened right there? He was distracted, I think, by someone in the crowd. Was the Japanese referee saying something to him? Somehow, Lord British was distracted. And now the tables have turned and another tag team maneuver. Oh, that was devastating. A spear clothesline combination from the two roughnecks. Smokey and Pistol Pete. Body lock. Oh, hot tag to Humble Among. And it looks like Humble Among burst open. Smoke, and he gets right back up. What is this guy made of? Smokey won't stay down. Humble Among able to keep him down no matter how much he can take. Humble can dish out more punishment. And those clotheslines are landing more clean this time. I think he's found his range. He has. Rebound rope, jumping clothesline. And there it is, that humble smash. No, he's unable to pull it off on Smokey. Smokey knows the reversal. He knows what to do to get out of Humble's finishing maneuver. Will Humble be able to bring out the cutter? Or will Smokey, will Smokey pull off that? No, this is it. Oh, no, that tilt. No. No way, yo, Smokey and Toad win the match with emphasis. Where is, where is the big man Lord British? What happened to him? Something happened with Lord British in the middle of that match where he got distracted and somehow left Humble Among hanging there a little bit. Something, and speaking of hanging, let's check out the replay here. Humble Among getting tossed in the air with that Pistol Pete Gorilla Body Press. That's when he burst him open, you hear me? That was crazy. A perfect reversal from Smokey, though. And a perfect reversal from Lord British pulling the lovely locks of Pistol Pete. Beautiful fireman's carry. I mean, listen, guys, there's nothing you can do. But something happened in the middle of that match. Something happened where my man Lord British got distracted. You hit the comment section. Let me know what you think. That's the episode for tonight, guys. Thank you for coming through. And thank you to you, the season few. Hit like, hit share if you want your character to get a boost or even have a match. Get involved, man.